2021. We've made it. This is going to be a great year. I can tell. How can I tell? I don't know. I just can tell. Today, I want to start talking about the C melodic minor scale. And if you read my article in Bass Musician Magazine, The Power of One Note, that was dealing with one note in a rhythmic sense. But here, the difference between a C major scale and a C melodic minor scale is one note. That's it. So if we look at C major, going down to our lowest note, and then the chord would be C major seven. just change that one note, which is the third, and flatten it so it becomes C, D, E flat, it changes the entire concept of the chord. take a look. So we have the C. Oh, let's take a real good look at this chord. I was thinking about this yesterday. If we take dyads, which is a two-note chord, and we just do the one and the five, it really doesn't tell us much, does it? It almost sounds like it could be a major chord, it could be a dominant chord, it could be just a plain old-fashioned minor chord. Now, what if we do the root and the flat three? Once again, does it really tell us, is it a minor chord? Is it a minor major seventh chord? We don't know. So the only way to make that uh, a reality would be to have the root, the flat three, and the major seventh. Wow, strange chord, right? So here's what a minor major seven in C sounds like. Now we can go first inversion, which starts on the E flat. And second inversion starts on the G. And the third inversion starts on the B. And then we go back. I'm not really sure Hudson's interested in minor major seventh chords, no matter what key they're in. Actually, um, I'm not sure he's interested in music theory to begin with. Oh well. So there you have it, the minor major seventh chord in all three inversions. What's that look like on the bass? Well here, let me show you. Root, flat three, five, major seven, that's root position. Flat three, five, major seven, octave, that's first inversion. Five, major seven, octave, which actually is a flat 10, flat three. And then we have seven octave, flat 10, and then the G, which is the five, the octave above. Let's look at it going over all four strings. it with 
the minor, but here, listen to it with that major seven involved. <laughs> Tomorrow, we'll examine it again, but we'll do it on the sixth string bass. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is a great way to start the new year. Another great way to start the new year is either my correspondence course, or you can study with me online, or my books on Amazon. My name's David Gross. This is the Bass Guitar Channel. Have a great day. Have a happy new year, and we'll see you tomorrow.